Well, February is American Heart Month, and Dr. Michael Pack, a physician at Bronson Advanced Cardiac Healthcare, is here to speak with us about Heart Month. Dr. Pack is a board uh, is board certified in cardiovascular disease, comprehensive echocardiology, and nuclear cardiology. Well, that's a mouthful. Good morning, Dr. Pack. Good morning. <laughs> so, uh, American Heart Month, uh, what would you like to share with our listeners about the importance of keeping your heart healthy and seeking care when needed? Well, the pandemic has certainly played a huge role in, uh, I would say, increasing the cardiovascular death rate uh, over the last year. Uh, and that's not quite always just tied to the pandemic. I think we've seen uh, people become less active, people have gained weight, um, and certainly with the financial stresses as well, we've seen about 11% increase in cardiovascular mortality last year alone compared to years prior, unrelated to COVID. Wow. And, and I'm going to go out on a limb, and since you're the doctor and I'm not, but uh, we're going to see this be even more prevalent, I think, as we go along. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, other things that we've seen is uh, care has been delayed, uh, not just in heart disease, but also cancer care. Uh, and so that is a combination of factors, uh, fear of people coming in, um, you know, visits being limited, uh, those sorts of things. Uh, but even last year, there was about a 42% less reduction in testing. Uh, so people aren't coming in for their uh, lab values, blood pressure checks, uh, typical maintenance of the screening. And is that because, you know, it's not accessible or is that because they kind of feel, uh, and especially I think in men, it's always a, an inclination of, oh, well, it's nothing. That's just heartburn and uh, I shouldn't go out anyway with this COVID thing. Yeah, I think there's been a lot of fear uh, in a lot of patients. Um, there, We've tried to accommodate people with telehealth uh, visits, um, things like that. Uh, so there's ways to achieve care even if fearful of going out. And fortunately, though we've taken a lot of steps in ensuring safety of patients when they do come into our facilities, we've not really tracked any significant outbreaks in any of our facilities uh, to people uh, getting their care. And so we would still encourage people to come to their visits uh, to get their refills, check their blood pressures, and continue to watch their weight, obviously. So diet and exercise, a sedentary lifestyle, the inclination to pass on the care that you might need, these are all indirect uh, ways that COVID-19 can affect our heart. Can having COVID-19 directly affect heart health? Yes, in a few circumstances it can. Uh, there's both an immediate and long-term effects of COVID-19. It is a small percentage of patients with COVID-19 that will develop an inflammation of their lining around their heart or their heart muscle uh, itself, uh, weakening the heart maybe transiently. Uh, we've seen that on a few occasions. Um, Long-term effects, it tends to be more of the fatigue and the palpitations and maybe the shortness of breath that can extend longer than the initial COVID event. But again, it does affect the heart probably a lot less than what we anticipated, but we still do see that. We're talking with Dr. Michael Pack, physician at Bronson Advanced Cardiac Healthcare. And Dr. Pack, uh, you yourself have uh, had COVID-19, correct? That is correct. So um, can you share how that, uh, you know, maybe change your outlook on the virus and what your experience with the virus was like? Well, it was uh, concerning. It was around September that I uh, had uh, covid and then I gave it to my wife, unfortunately. Uh, but what it's different and what kind of biased me in some ways, because I saw over the last year what this could do. And then once you get the diagnosis, you're very cautiously watching uh, any of those for those side effects or the worsening of the condition. And so as you're experiencing it through that, it was flashing back in my mind x-rays I've seen and uh, just hospitalized patients that I've seen. Unfortunately, it did not end up being that uh, severe for me. And the problem is it's been so hard to predict uh, how someone's going to respond. I've seen the sickest patients you can imagine uh, do okay with it, and the youngest patients have had a harder time. So you just can't predict how someone's going to do. Yeah, and, and just the stress of not knowing 
you know, uh, if you start to feel ill, it's like, okay, is this going to be, uh, you know, quick and not so bad, or is it going to be the worst? And uh, I guess that kind of stress is certainly a strain on anybody's heart. Yes, absolutely. Now, on another note, I heard Bronson Methodist Hospital was just named one of the nation's top 50 cardiovascular hospitals for 2021. What does that designation mean, and how do you feel about receiving such a designation? Well, we didn't even know we were in running or contention for this. This was just something that we were told. Uh, We've always um, really strived to do the best job we can for our patients uh, as a team effort. Uh, but And so we were just told that, hey, uh, you're doing a good job. And then uh, what this is, it's just a, um, an IBM Watson uh, kind of evaluation of outcomes, uh, basically. Uh, cost of care, complication rates, readmission rates, mortality rates. Uh, and they just told us we were doing a good job. And uh, it's just an affirmation of all the work that we've always continued to do. And I guess, you know, it's nice to know that you get recognized for the hard work that you do, but uh, how does this designation as a top 50 cardiovascular hospital directly affect your patients? Well, I guess it gives them the reassurance uh, that we're doing a good job for them uh, and providing evidence-based care. Since it's American Heart Health Month, if there were one or two things that we could do today that would help us with our heart health, what would you recommend? Uh, Make sure that you get your uh, medicines, make sure you follow up with your appointments, get your blood pressures checked, and more importantly, try to find something to stay active. And I know that's been challenging with uh, the gym closures, and and now it's winter, um, but people have to find a way to stay active. And I've not found that too common over this last year. People are just, even working from home has been challenging uh, to find an activity to do. Even slightly active as opposed to sitting on your butt and never doing anything. That's correct. <laughs> it's just find something to do. Dr. Michael Pack, Bronson Advanced Cardiac Healthcare. Congratulations on that designation as one of the nation's top 50 cardiovascular hospitals. And thanks very much for uh, spending some time talking about American Heart Month with us today. Thank you for having me.